Hey, my name is Bobby Lee and welcome to Talking. What's up? Did you have a song in your head? Yeah. You know what I mean? That wasn't what you just did. It wasn't. A comedian today is um, the co-creator of the Dave Chappelle Show on Comedy Central. He's a very funny stand-up comic, and he's a very good friend of mine, Neil Brennan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm a very. Fist, okay, I'm uh, fisting enough. this whole show right, right now. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop doing that. I was a nom. Some the guy did that to me when I was in a foxhole. I, I I knew your brother before you. Yeah. Yeah. I often heard about you. What did he say about me? Uh, His name is Kevin no, that, Brennan. They, I, not. I mean, you were funny. That's all I heard. Say that again. You were. He was funny. Bobby still doesn't believe it. Twenty-five years into comedy. <laughs> Although that is the great thing about comedy is. Yeah. You wake up and you go, it's the only profession in the world where you go, I'm not capable of doing this job. Like, yes. their pilots don't wake up and go, I have no fucking idea how to fly a plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas several times a day, I will think to myself, you're not funny and you have no business being, some, meanwhile someone's on, yeah, you're not fucking funny, all caps. You don't read that stuff. First. I wake uh, up in the mornings, can I say something? I wake up in the mornings and there's a Afternoons. Deep, afternoons, that's true. Uh -huh. And there's a gigantic weight on my chest. You when does it ever go away? No. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm too much of a pussy to go. Yeah. Yeah, you are a fucking pussy. Yeah, that's a squirt gun. Now, you know what I want to talk about too? How did the Charlie Murphy thing happen when it came to the Chappelle show? One, one time in 1997, me and Dave Chappelle wrote a little script called Half Baked. Anyhow, turned it in, took us, it, you know, we'd spent like easily three weeks writing it and, um, <laughs> and turned it in. Then we decided like, hey, we should go out. Uh, we should do mushrooms. So we went out to a club, Elika, some other girls, we're doing shrooms. Uh, I remember the shrooms kicked in at the Mondrian Hotel, the Sky Bar, and I was talking to basketball player John Sally. <laughs> I'm talking to John Sally and shit's fucking blah, 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 like just fucking it, lights exploding around his head. I'm just like, uh, tell me about Rick Mahorn. Uh, at some point we're at this club and I look over at Chappelle and he's, I go, what is Chappelle talking to Eddie Murphy's fat older brother? <laughs> Turns out ripped older brother. Right. And so I go over and we're on shrooms and Charlie's talking and he's just like, eh, 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 yeah. The thing with these Hollywood movies is there's poison in ice cream. It's ice cream, but it's poison. <laughs> so, like, for years, me and Chappelle would see each other and be like, it's poison in ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Then we were, and then we did Chappelle's show, and we, were, we wrote this real-world sketch, and we were like, you know, it would be good for that. It's Charlie Murphy. Uh, I want to talk about um, what's up with your brother, you, your relationship with him. My brother, M Kevin, who is a comedian, uh, and fucking really funny. Really funny. Uh, he was mad when I started doing stand-up regularly because he felt like I was kind of like stealing his, his thunder. Which they were never going to say we can only have one Brennan from here on out. <laughs> like showbiz was never going to go like, look, <laughs> yeah. can I, we need to, showbiz needs to have a meeting. There's too many Brennans. Yeah. He, so he didn't really talk to me for a couple of years. Um, when he came out here to write for Norm Macdonald's Comedy Central show, he, Kevin was good enough to start talking to me again. May have had something to do with the fact that he needed somewhere to stay. Uh, Who's really, who can say? Maybe yeah. it was a coincidence. But Let's how, do, how do you go from years of not talking to a brother? Have you never been Irish before? I asked you one night, I think, and I said, wow, you're in a good mood. And you said, yeah, I have, I'm, 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 you, you have this little electrical shock machine. Yeah. Again, from being Irish, you're just in a soup of depression and hatred and venom. That's called the human condition. Right, but it's especially acute with being Irish. I'm, I have the same thing. But look at what you had to do, go through as a Korean person to become Irish. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all, all the that, all that, all that, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, yeah. and fucking uh, this. You know what I mean? All that stuff. And he had a long Coke pinky nail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I started going to like this sort of. Uh, I don't even Can know. Can we what get to the call. machine, please? Yeah. So I went to this woman, I mean, this and guy. she sold me a box that it was an electro thing, 
and then you would put the electrodes oh, that's to right, your that's ears, right. and it felt uh, it felt something. Yeah, yeah. And so then you told me about it. Yeah. And let me tell you something, man. It didn't work. Yeah, but you only did it once, Bobby. You need to do it for three or four months, bef like I did, before you realize it doesn't work. That's so, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now, now this is the portion of the show where we actually draw a picture of something that we talked about. It can be anything, Neil. Come on in, guys. What guys. is the medium we're using? Markers. We're going to use markers. Are these the only colors we have? I would like to reveal mine. Okay, this is Neil with his big golem eyes. And there's all the money he's made in showbiz. <laughs> That's all pussy. <laughs> And this is a movie that you directed and you cast Dr. Ken Jeong ahead of me. Yes, yeah, sure did. It was a funny movie. Let me reveal your thing. This is, uh, this is what you can expect when you go, when you pay a visit to Bobby's hotel. It's Bobby hanging, fake hanging himself <laughs> in his hotel. No rope. No rope. He likes to do it in the first kind of 20 minutes of when he's there. Yeah. He likes then, the first thing. He doesn't, he kind of christens the room. What's that? And then if you're looking, that's porn. And that's a penis? That's a penis and that's a butt. Ladies butt. It's a man. And uh, it's Blu-ray. Because Bobby only watches Blu-ray. I love high def. I want to see the freckles. I don't know if he's mentioned that one night at the comedy store. He's like, I got to get over to the Hustler store. And I go, don't, why don't, are you going to the Hustler no, store? No, 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 you no, shut no. up. And I go, why are you going to the Hustler store? And he goes, for porn, bro. And I go, do you have not to have the internet? And, he, and you go, I need Blu-ray. No, 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 no. Neil Brennan, no, no, no. Neil Brennan, yeah. Bobby's hotel, no, 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 there you go. No. Bobby Lee, no. Bobby Lee. No, 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 no. No, no. 